Hello and welcome. So this is going to be a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to show you how I made this spaceship generation and what this is going to do is let your players build an object and use it in a different scene. Um, what's different about this is I'm not going to be doing the code. It's really messy. Um, it's more of an example rather than a complete tutorial. Um, I've just thought of this today. And so this is on my own work. This is my terrible drawings. So I'm, I'm going to just show you what this, this project does. So you need to click a body first. We're going to just put in some brown wings. Let's put some blue wings here. And already you can see like the Z layer is not there, and yeah, it just it needs fixing. But and then let's put some guns here. <laughs> it's a bit wonky. Um, now if I press right click, you can see it's dis uh, disappeared. That's how I know it's saved. And then you'll see down here the player ship. If I double click that, got the player ship that we just made. So, I mean, I can just run it here, but you'll probably notice er errors. Oops, errors at the bottom. So you can see the errors, but it will still work. So to get rid of those errors, what I would do is just make a new scene, call it main, put it in. Run the scene. Oops, we've got to save it. So let's just test save. And you can see it's got rid of those errors and it still works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you like how I set up the um, each ship part, and then I'll go over the code. So what we'll do is go to main. I'm going to go to the ship part, and then what I've done is I've just used this just to order it really. But this is like the chunk of it. So we've got a wing here. So we've got an area 2D. We've got a sprite for obviously using the graphic, and we've got a collision polygon 2D. Uh, the reason I've done this is just that I didn't want to have like a circle because you'd have lots of spaces that if an enemy could shoot you with. Um, now, what's really vital is that this the uh, area 2D origin point has to be inside the, pol the polygon collider. So you'll see here I had issues with this because it's really thin. So I've moved this graphic over so this cross here is inside, else the cross was originally there. Now the reason that is is that if I was to drag this object, it will drag it by this cross. Now if the cross is inside there, then I've just, my mouse has just left the polygon 2D in. So yeah, it's a little bit fiddly, but if you, know, uh, you could expand on this a lot more. So let's go to the code, and um, what we'll do is I'll just show you what I've done for the bullet. It's basically get the speed, um, shoot this bullet upwards, and if it hasn't left the screen, yes it has, then obviously remove it. Obviously, this is a project as all of us will be on GitHub, so feel free to download it and mess around with it. I don't expect you to go through the code by looking at it, and here it's just, it's really scrappy as well, it does need re refactoring. And then we've got the player ship, so this is gun this is empty, so you can see it's just like a, a node to D. And this is what we're attaching the body parts to, and then later on saving. So yep, yeah, this is um hey, get the ship, move around with the arrow keys, and then if we press the right key, right mouse button, we save the ship. Now obviously if you're playing a normal game, you want to say, hey, is this in the editor or are we in the game? If it's in the editor, then allow to save. If it isn't, then don't allow it. Once again, many checks needed, not, not given. So this is our save function. What we're doing is we're getting we, we're declaring an empty packed scene. We're going to remove it from this this um, hierarchy here. And what we're going to do is we're going to get every child that is underneath, so that's every area 2D. And then underneath every area 2D, we're also going to get the sprite, the polygon collider, and for the gun, it's a time as well. And then we're going to make sure that the owner is off this player ship. You might be thinking, well, why does that matter? Well, when you're saving a scene, you also have to set the owner. So it's not enough just to be a child. It has to be the owner as well. So once we've done that, we can then say, right, for every child we have that is owned, it will attach and it will be packed. If it isn't, it won't be packed. So make sure that you don't. If you've got like um, another step to do, make sure you put that step in. And then what we're going to do is I'm just going to save it in this folder here, and then we're going to save the pack scene. So with the ship part, all this is really is just me moving, just basically saying, hey, is the mouse over this 
the part, yes it is, I've repressed the button, yes, then attach it to the mouse, I've re let go of the button, then unattach it from the mouse, but also attach it to the ship. So you can see here that I've decided to do um, the signals in code. The reason for that is that every single time you were to add a new part, you wouldn't want to have to go to your signals, double click and attach it, it's just really long winded. Um, we've got checks for saying hey is this a body then the body works different from every other part if you click the body it'll put it it'll force the position instantly to zero zero however if it's not a body then it'll get the globe position of the mouse which is down here somewhere anyway I'll go through so obviously we're going through the process step we're going to go right hey is if the mouse is currently over this object and we know that because we say hey has the mouse entered from the signal which is here then we're going to say hey is it a body if as we said earlier then you move it from this scene because you can't you can't put it into a different scene if it's already a part of another scene and then we're going to attach it to the main ship which is this node right here And then we're going to force the position else. We're not going to do. We're going to do the same again, but instead of forcing it to position, we just put it to the globe one instead. And then we reset this here. Then we say, hey, if if the, ugh, this isn't a body, then we know that we're manipulating a part. So it could be a cockpit, a wing, a uh, gun. We're going to say, hey, are we mouse over? Are, are we holding down the left? So we're saying, is action just pressed? Sorry, is action just pressed? Yeah, that's right, okay. Touch to the mouse. So now if we move around, it will, the part will follow our mouse. Like that. So we, And then if we let go, we unattach. So have we released it? Yes, we have, then unattach. But only if it's already attached. And this is just handling uh, the gun. So we're saying, hey, is this a gun? And now we press in spacebar, which is accept. Then we say, right, get the bullet, which we've defined up here, the pack scene. And also make sure that if we go to the guns, you can see that I've attached the pack scene to the guns. So make sure that you don't need to do it to your body, it's only the guns. And then attach it to the current scene we're in, and off, and then the position of the part, and that's it really. Um, so what you could use this for is not just making ships. You could have legs, a body, and a head, and lots of different variations, and just attach them however you want. Um, you could, um, yeah, you could do it with cars. You could do it pretty much with every, any other object, but it's not just like about creating objects as well. Like you could use this to to pack every single object that's on in your level, pack it, and then when you load that level, that, that scene back up, it's the state is saved exactly how you left it, which is really powerful when you think about it. Um, I'm gonna leave this up on GitHub, the link will be in the description as always. Um, the next tutorial I'm gonna do will be using code. If you prefer me not typing and just explain what the code does and putting it on GitHub to let me know the tools will be a lot shorter. But if you do prefer to follow code through, let me know as well. Thanks for stopping by. Take care. Bye bye.